All right, so Todd Falcone here in my office. I actually have a copy of my go-to script. I hope you took the time to print it out. If you haven't downloaded it yet, you do want to print it out. What I'm going to do essentially here is I'm going to teach you how I go about using the script and the different situations. That, and I'm basically going to go through the script with you. So instead of just handing you a script and saying, go use the script, uh, it's a little more challenging to learn like that because you kind of don't know exactly maybe how the person might read the script or the situation, the tonality, the pace, and so on. So I'm going to go through the script. So make sure that you take the time to actually grab it, print a copy of it out, just like I have right here. Uh, obviously, a couple of other things. Uh, if you're going to be using the telephone, very good idea when you're using the telephone to have a headset. Uh, you know, cordless phone obviously for me is critical so I can move around. I can stand up if I want to. Uh, and that's really, really important to get your energy level up. So here's my go-to script. Again, this is a script that I use more often than any other script. It's, uh, it's got a lot of, um, I don't know, it's got a lot of uses. You can use it for leads. You can use it for people that you meet, you can use it for people that you generate or you purchase, social media leads, all sorts of different stuff. So uh, the, on, on the first page of the script here, I talk about an agenda. Essentially in this script, you're following an agenda. You're following a, a guideline, if you will, on uh, how a conversation is going to flow. So while the script is multiple pages in length, uh, the agenda itself is really six points, and that's on the first page here, six points. Introduction and opening question, asking for permission to continue, probing and qualifying, taking their temp or excuse me, taking taking them through the information gathering process about your opportunity, taking their temperature, and then closing or conducting a three-way call or booking a follow-up. So, uh, the, the the important thing here is that you take the time to practice the script so that the script is conversational. The more fluid you become, uh, the more in fact, the more you practice the script, the more it becomes. Uh, second nature to you, the, the better results you're going to get with using the script. So uh, on the first page of the script, you'll probably notice when you print it out that there are multiple openings that I have. The script itself has essentially the same components to it, but with different openings. So the opening is the thing that changes. So if I'm calling a lead that I purchase, for example, I will use a specific opening. If I use a lead that I generated through my online marketing efforts, I will use a specific opening. If it's somebody that was referred to me, I will use a specific opening. If it was somebody that I met at the coffee store and then I'm initiating a, a, a call to them because I piqued their interest, I'll use a different opening. Basically, the rest of the script itself is the same. So you just change the opening uh, for the different scenarios or situations that you might find yourself in. So I'll just run through the first one, uh, the intro and opening question for leads that you purchased or generated. Uh, again, you want to take the time to, before you use the script on a prospect, to actually read it a couple of times because literally, and I'll read this to you, this is word for word what the script says. It says, hi, is prospect's first name in please? Hi, prospect's name. This is your first and last name calling you from your city and state. I'm getting back to you because you just requested information from me about starting your own business. Is that still correct? Well, <laughs> I've actually had somebody make a phone call and instead of saying hi is Joe in, they say hi is prospect's first name in. So make sure that you read the script and that you take the time to look at what's on here and you're going to basically be inserting, it's pretty, I mean it's no brainer, it says hi is prospect's first name in. So if I'm calling Joe, hi is Joe in please. I never say hi is Joe Smith in please. Hi may I speak with Joe Smith. Uh, it becomes a little more formal. I really want the prospect to feel as if maybe we've had a conversation before, even though uh, in most cases we may not have yet had a conversation. So, hi, is Joe Smith in, please? Hi, Joe. Or excuse me, back up. Hi, is Joe in, please? Hi, Joe. This is Todd Falcone calling you from Seattle, Washington. I'm going to tell my first and last name where I'm... So, this is the opening. Hi, is Joe in, please? Yeah, this is Joe. Hey, Joe. Todd Falcone calling you from Seattle, Washington. I'm getting back to you because you requested information from me about starting a business of your own. Is that still correct? And then I pause. One thing about using this script, you do not want to make this mistake. You don't say, hi, is Joe in, please? Yeah, this is Joe. Hey, Joe, this is Todd Falcone calling you from Seattle, Washington. Pause. Well, then the person's going to be like, well, uh-huh, and what do you want? So you want to get through. You want to do the introduction and opening question before you, before you ever pause. So hi, is Joe in, please? Yeah, this is Joe. Joe Todd Falcone getting back to you. I understand that you might be looking for a business of your own. Is that still correct? Pause, and then you're looking for an answer. 
there's alternate uh, openings in here. Uh, there's an alternate opening for leads that you purchased. Uh, there's an introduction and opening question for, you know, ad respondents. Hi, is, uh, is Joe in, please? Yeah, this is Joe. Hi, Joe. This is Todd Falcone returning your call. Uh, you responded to my advertisement in USA Today regarding your interest in making money from home. Is creating an income from home still something that you're looking to do? Question mark. Pause. Wait for the answer. Uh, someone that you met, uh, might have met or peaked. This means you were somewhere somehow. You piqued somebody's interest in terms of their openness to looking at other ways of making money. Hey, is Bob in? Yeah, this is Bob. Hey, Bob. Todd Falcone getting back to you. We met at Starbucks. Am I catching you at an okay time to chat for just a couple minutes? The person says, sure. Um, great. Well, listen, Bob, when we spoke, you indicated to me that you were looking for a way to make some extra money. Is that still correct? Okay, that's just the opening of the script right there. That's just the beginning of the script. And there are multiple openings. And then, of course, you can, based on the, you can use this script. This is the most usable go-to script. And, and I've got like 80 different, I mean, I got a ridiculous amount of different scripts because there are different situations that we encounter. You meet somebody here, you're at a party, it's a three-way call script, a referral. I mean, there's a bunch of different scenarios where you need to have the right words in your mouth. Um, this one is just really kind of universal, which is cool. So uh, again, your objective here is to quickly qualify them. So when you pick up the phone and you initiate the call, your objective is to, to get an answer to that question. Are you, you know, is that still correct? Are you looking to make money from home? Yes or no? And, and the other thing that I want you to pay really close attention to here, you guys, is listening to how they answer and what they say when they answer. Are they talking really fast? So when the prospect picks up the phone and it's like, hello, hi, is, is Bob? And yeah, this is Bob. You got to pick up the pace and match their pace. This is called rapport building. This is the essence of rapport building, matching the pace, the volume, the tone. If they're talking really fast, you want to speed up your you're, you know, how, how, how quickly you're talking. If they're talking really slowly, you slow it down. So this is, the, again, when, when it comes to people making a buying decision, people like to buy and do business with individuals that they like and trust. The more that you are like them, the greater the likelihood that they're going to like you and that they're going to want to do business with you and buy from you. So you have to remember that. If, if they feel good about you, if they're comfortable with you, they're going to trust you and they're much more likely, way more likely to do business with you. And something as simple as mirroring the pace at which that person talks or the volume. If they're talking loud, you talk loud. If they talk softly, you speak softly. You match and mirror exactly what they're doing. So essentially, you have the opening. Hi, is Joe Wynn, Joe Todd Falcone, Seattle, Washington, getting back to you. I understand that you might be looking for a way to make some extra money working from home. Is that still correct? Pause. Wait for the answer. And then, and then I give it to you right here. If the answer is yes, and they sound like somebody that you might be looking for, the next step is asking for permission to continue. If they say, yeah, I'm open, but they sound like a, you know, somebody you don't want to have in your business, I do something called gapping. I, it, gap stands for grab a pen. It's like, hey, grab a pen. You know, sometimes you get on the phone with somebody who says they're open to an opportunity, but you're like, uh-uh, I don't really, you're not what I'm looking for. You want to quickly get off the phone with that person so that you're not wasting your time. So I tell you how to gap them. Gap them means grab a pen, and I'm going to guide them to some information about something somewhere, and that's my polite way of not, you know, of getting off the phone with them without hanging up on them because I'm realizing, okay, this is somebody that I got on the phone with, but quite frankly, there's somebody I don't want. If they say no, so in other words, again, this is, You've asked that first question. You, you, you had requested information about making money from home. Is that still correct? And they say yes. Well, there's two different roads. They're yes, and they sound like somebody that you'd like. Yes and no, they don't sound like somebody you like. There's two different ways that you can go there. If they say no, and they sound like somebody that's not worth your time, then you just say goodbye. And I, I, t I tell you all this right here is so simple. Uh, if they say no, and they sound like somebody that, you know, I might want, like somebody who answers the phone, and they're spunky, and they're outgoing, but... You know, I ask them the question about, hey, are you at all open to keeping, you know, uh, look, looking at business opportunities outside of what you're currently doing or whatever the, that question is. And they say no, but they sound like somebody. I'm, I might just give it one more shot and say, look, Bob, before I let you go, and this is right here in the script, before I let you go, do you mind if I ask you a simple question? Are you saying that you're not, that, that you're really not looking to create an additional stream of income in your life? I mean, if you absolutely knew that you could earn a few thousand extra dollars a month working very part time, you wouldn't at least be curious to know more about what it involved? And so, who knows, you might take somebody who said no, but maybe you did a reframe question, because that's essentially what that is. It's called a reframe question. And you might convert that person who said no into a yes. Certainly, I mean, it takes you a couple seconds to do it. If somebody says maybe, sometimes you get a maybe. My uh, response there is, Bob, 
I'm only looking for people that can absolutely answer yes to that question. Are you looking to make money, yes or no? I mean, this, I take you through this thing so, this, this is good. If they say that depends, like you say, uh, you, you, I'm getting back to you, you responded to some information about making money from home, is that correct? And they say, well, it depends. How many times have you got that one? My response is, well, and it's right here. Of course it does. But let me ask you this. If you found a business to pursue that you were absolutely convinced you could create a substantial level of income, you'd want to know about it, wouldn't you? And so you're, you're converting, and it depends, or maybe or possibly, into a yes. So then ask for permission to continue. I always like to ask for permission to continue really simply because I don't want to get involved in a conversation with somebody and get, it, get engaged and find that they get their kids in the bathtub or they have company over or something else, and then they're cutting me off uh, mid-sentence, and, and you're halfway in the conversation but you really didn't get permission to get into the conversation. So really important to ask for permission to continue. And it's really tough on how to do this. This is one of the most difficult things. I'm being facetious. Ask for permission to continue. So after, after they said, yeah, I'm open, I'm like, great. Well, Bob, am I catching you at an okay time to chat for just a couple of minutes? That's it. That's how I ask the question. Next part is a probing and qualifying. Now, this is, this is where the, the script is more about feel. Um, based on how they sound, how they're answering the questions and what they're saying in their answers, this is when you can decide whether you ask all these questions or just some of them. You don't ha just because all of the questions are in the script does not mean that every single time you need to ask them. So, but the first question that I will almost always ask, and it's right here, it's the first question that I ask on the script, is, again, right after I said, am I catching you at an okay time to chat for just a couple minutes? Bob says, sure, I am. I said, Bob, let me ask you a quick question. Are you currently self-employed or have you been in the past? Why do I do that? Because I want to get, I want to find out if the person has any network marketing experience. Maybe they're in a network marketing company now. I don't know, but if I, I don't want to get 15 minutes in the conversation and find out that the guy's been in five different network marketing companies over the last 10 years, I could have got it out of the way rather quickly. So I get that out of the way. Are you currently self-employed or have you been in the past? If they say yes, I ask about it. Well, tell me about that. What, what kind of business did you have? What type of business? And you can dig and you listen. That's key here. It's not about what you say as much as paying attention, listening, using the two ears that God gave you. Uh, next thing is, you know, what do you do for a living? How long have you been doing it? What do you like about it? Is there anything that you don't enjoy about it? Don't say what don't you like about what you do because you don't know if they don't like something about what they do. But you can ask questions. Is there anything in particular that you don't like? about what you do. What are you looking for in a business of your own? Are you primarily looking for a part-time or full-time income opportunity? What type of income are you looking to generate? Uh, those are some of the questions, and they're right here on the script, you guys. And, and based on how the person is, is responding, I might, I might ask a couple questions and go, dude, you sound like a rock star. At this point, I'm going to take them through the information gathering process. So this is all about feel here, and it's really based on their answers and how they're answering those questions. So make sure you're taking notes here. I mean, I'm lit, not, you can take notes during this training, but I'm meaning referring to when you're on the phone with the prospect, taking notes about what's going on in the conversation. Very important. That way you can uh, reference that when you do a follow-up call. You can, you know, you know about their kids and you know about how much money that they make and what kind of business that they do currently or what they've done in the past. Take notes on your prospects. Very important. Okay, let's see here. Uh, once I find out, I've asked a few questions, I find out somebody's d good and they sound like somebody I'd like to go to, to, to potentially work with. Next thing for me is taking them through the information gathering process. And I essentially just will segue into this. After I've asked Bob a few questions, I'll just say, well, Bob, it sounds to me like you're the right type of person for our business. What I need to do now is provide you some information about our company and what we do so you can make an informed and relaxed decision as to whether or not this makes sense to you. Does, does, that, sound, does that sound fair? Never have I sound, heard somebody say, ah, yeah, that's not fair, Todd. And that's easy. This script is so easy. I mean, if you just follow it, and again, make sure you're mirroring. I generally talk a little fast. And I got a lot of stuff I want to get into this training real quick. But uh, make sure you, 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 know, you pay attention to how they sound and that you're mirroring. Like if, if Bob was a slower guy, I might have slowed down a little bit and said, you know, Bob, it sounds to me like you're the right type of person for our business. What I need to do now is simply provide you with some information. So you notice I've slowed down a little bit. Now, that first step, whatever that is, maybe it's a 10-minute overview call. Maybe I get them over to a website. After they've reviewed the first piece of information, and this is going to be different for every different network marketing direct sales company, I'm going to take their temperature. And that's just basically me feeling them out to find out how interested are they about my business. Um, you know, and 
they've looked at the information and the way I take their temperature, I say, well, Bob, that's a quick overview on our company. Let me ask you a really simple question. If you were going to rate yourself right now on a scale of one to 10, one, uh-uh, I'm not at all interested in 10. I'm ready to get started right now. Where do you see yourself? And so I'm going to ask that question and they're going to give me a number. And then I even tell you what to do when they, when they say I'm a one through a five or I'm a six through a this. It's, this is like cut and paste, boom, boom, boom. Very simple. After they've given me their temperature, they say I'm a three. I'm like, dude, if you're a three, I got to go. I'll see you later. You know, I mean, if you're a three after looking at my first piece of information on a scale of one to 10, I don't have, I'm not going to sit there and try to convince the person. And then the next step is you're either closing the person, you're conducting a three-way call, or you're booking a follow-up. And I even tell you how to do that. So, well, if the person's an eight, nine, or 10, when I take their temperature at that point, I'm going to say, hey, uh, cool. Well, let me tell you how you get started. And of course, that, that might be where some of the objections and questions come up. Uh, if uh, they're like, hey, you know, I, I like what I see. I'm about a six. I need to get some more information at that point. Boom, you can get them an email. You can get them to another website. You can take them to the next step to get them further information. And by the way, right now, right here, right this moment, this is an ideal time for you to conduct a three-way call with somebody in the up upline leadership team that you're working with. So maybe you're new and you don't have all the answers yet. And you know what? I still don't have all the answers and I've been doing this for 21 years. But I can tell you this, even today, if I was in the field today building and I was on the phone with a prospect and I was talking to Bob and Bob and I were chit-chatting and Bob liked what he saw, but he needed to get some more information. At that point, I'd flash over and I'd say, hey, is Andy in? Andy Todd here? Listen, I've got, I've got Bob on the phone. Do you have a quick, a quick minute for a three-way call? Andy's going to tell me yes or no whether he's got the time. I'm like, super. I flash back over. I do an introduction to Bob and Andy. I let my sponsor, my upline expert, talk to uh, my prospect. And he's going to help them go through the process a little further. So this is a really powerful script. Use it. Take the time to read through it. Take the time to practice it. Uh, just a lot of great uses. Uh, it's not just, just for leads. It's for all sorts of different prospects that you might encounter in your network marketing business. So that, again, is my go-to script. That's the one that I use more often. It's got more flexibility than any of the other scripts that I have. And I've got tons of scripts. In fact, I've got scripts for every situation that you might ever encounter as a network marketing professional. Just wanted to give this one to you. This is my gift to you. I appreciate you for plugging in. This is Todd Falcone, and we'll hope to see you on another training somewhere soon. See ya. Welcome back. Todd Falcone here. Am I going all Hollywood on you by changing clothes? No, actually, I'm recording this video about three weeks after what you just watched. And the reason I'm doing it is I've had a whole bunch of people come in and download the free script and they've really dug the, the free training and the free script and all that stuff. And, but there are a bunch of you guys that have been plugging on in going, wait a minute, I know you've got all these other scripts, this stash of scripts, and you have it someplace. Why are you not at least sharing with us right then and there, and I just, I don't know, I didn't even think about it. I was just providing some value to you guys, but uh, what I'm going to do, I guess, now is tell you a little bit about this. This is my little black book of scripts. I, as I mentioned in the other video, I have a big stash of scripts. I've been using scripts for years. I'm a big proponent of using scripts so that you can have the right words put in your mouth when you're meeting prospects in different situations, and over the years, I've compiled a big wad of scripts. In fact, I've got a little black book of script book here, which has about 80 pages of scripts. Uh, this is one of my top selling programs that I market today. Uh, and it literally has every script for every possible situation that you might ever encounter as a network marketing professional. The script that I just gave you, which is my go-to script, is obviously a very versatile script, but it's not going to cover every situation that you're going to use as a network marketer. You know, if you meet somebody at a, a, a chamber mixer, or you meet somebody at a, at a party, or you want to talk to your warm market about your product, or you want to talk to a professional, or any other number of you know, follow-up scripts, closing scripts, and so on, voicemail scripts, all those things are really important and it's very important to use the right words because if you don't use the right words you could say something and it ends up repelling the prospect rather than attracting them so uh, I put this script book together quite a while ago it's one of my top selling programs um, it's 80 pages of scripts and it's not just scripts uh, there's letters there's uh, email messages there's templates for stuff to just make your marketing life a lot easier this puts a lot of the work uh, and gives it I mean I, I do all the work for you and I give it to you and I hand it to you in a little black book so you don't have actually have to do the development of all the scripts you can actually just go oh what would I do if I you know needed to talk to you know uh, a cold market person and, and overcome an objection it's in here what would happen if you were at a party and you wanted to ch or, or you're at a you bump into another network marketer and you ended up having a conversation how would you engage them in conversation properly uh, how do you deal with you know funded proposals there's funded proposal scripts in here there's all 
sorts of stuff. How to moderate a conference call, how to host a conference call. Uh, there's my lead coding system. There's just a ton of stuff in here. Uh, this is uh, called the Little Black Book of Scripts. And on top of the scripts, I also give you two audio CDs. And the reason I do that is because it's really like, just like in the last training you just saw, it's real nice to be given a script, but it's a whole different thing when somebody actually goes through and works with you and shows you how to use it. So the two audio CDs, I go through the entire script book with you so that it just makes, you know, makes using the scripts a lot more effective. So uh, I had a bunch of you guys saying, dude, why are you not telling us about the little black book right then and there? So I decided to cut this other video. And you notice probably from the other video, my tan is going away because I just had gotten back from the Caribbean when I did the last video. So now I'm going to have to go in the sunshine again because it's winter here in Seattle. So uh, this, if you were to go to my website and purchase it at toddfalcone.com, you're going to pay $67 for it. If just because you're here, because you took the time to download the other script and uh, showed up here, you're actually going to get a discount. If you buy it now, instead of paying $67, you can pick it up for $47. Uh, right now, if you were to go to ToddFalcone.com, you're going to see it $67, always will be at that site. Here, you can pick it up for $47. And also, just for fun, uh, because a lot of what we do is on the phone, uh, you know, even to this day with the advent of all the tools and technologies available to us, uh, the telephone has been my primary money-making device. It allows me to set up meetings with people. Even if I'm doing belly-to-belly -belly or one-on-one, -on -one, it's the phone that gets me set up with the meeting. So if it's a, an internet lead that comes in, it's still the phone that gets me in contact with that person. So above all else, the telephone is the number one tool that I use personally and have been for years and continue to do today as a tool for helping me make money. And it's important that you are good at using the telephone. So about a year ago, I did a program called Teleprospecting for Pros. That was a four-hour paid teleseminar series. I took 100 people through that course. They all paid $99 to participate in it. I have it now in a digital format. Uh, it's four hours of training, and it's specifically about getting good at using the telephone. I will give it to you. Now, here's the deal. You can pick the little black book of scripts up right now, and instead of paying 67 you're going to pay 47 On top of it, if you do it right now, with, and you've you got to remember something, if you close the page, this is a one-time offer. If you close the page, you can still probably get access to the book for, for $47, but you're not going to get teleprospecting for pros. So if you act right now, Pick up the little black book of scripts. I will give you teleprospecting for pros for free. That's a $99 product that you're going to get free of charge as a digital download. But I'm telling you again, please remember, you can't be calling my office saying, Todd, dude, I close. don't close the window. If you know you're ready to buy it, just pick it up right now. It, I will include uh, with your little black book of purchase teleprospecting for pros for free. This is the only time you're going to see teleprospecting for pros that you're going to be able to get with the little black book for free. So... I think there's probably a buy now button somewhere on this website. You can take advantage of that right now. So you'll get Little Black Book for 47 rather than 67. And because you're acting now, you'll also get teleprospecting for pros free of charge. Don't close the window because if you do, you're not going to see the offer again. So appreciate you. We'll see you on another training sometime in the future. Todd Falcone signing off. Bye-bye.